Hey folks, it's 1881 MF here on the Life Buzzing Channel. Little Debbie running that camera as always. Thanks, babe. Today we are going to make some refried beans. Where you at? Oh, I was looking at the beans. Hey folks. <laughs> so we eat nachos weekly, sometimes twice a week. How's that? Good. There we there go. There you go. Nice light. Sorry, folks. That's all right. Okay, so anyways, we're going to make homemade refried beans. We're always buying those little cans, and we use half of the can for easy other half. Forget about it. Buy another can. Can, 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 can. We're doing the can can. So anyways, I was on the internet the other day. What a great place. And ran into this cute little st uh, station, this cute little video, cooking with a little spice. Melissa runs that channel. She's been out there for about a year. Cooks all kinds of cool stuff. I grabbed onto that refried bean one, so here we go. Her recipe starts like this. Slow cooker crock pot, okay? It's gonna take us eight hours to make this. So we're gonna add 12 cups of water. 12 cups of water, okay? That's a lot. We're gonna add four cups of dried pinto beans. Boom. Nice. We're gonna add an onion. Now, Melissa pulls her onion out before she starts processing the beans. So she keeps them big, so I'm gonna try the same thing. We're gonna add four to six cloves of garlic. What is a clove? I don't know. This is probably three tablespoons of the stuff we get in a jar. You need to know what a clove is. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, who knows? Uh, salt and pepper, you know, to taste. Cumin, cumin is, Cumin is that spice that's Mexican in all the Mexican seasoning. food that we all love so much and mm -hmm. wish we could do. So that's that. And then we're going to add a finely chopped up jalapeno. Ooh. Boom. Just like that. And then we're going to turn this guy right here on high. We're going to cover it and we're going to let it go for eight hours. In the meantime... Are you going to stir it? Yeah, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> She didn't say. Don't turn it off yet, though, because in the meantime, look over here. For the preppers that follow me, thank you all my subscribers, by the way. You have extra beans? Well, you also have extra mason jars, right? You're starting to go through your summer your summer stash, and, and you have jars. Put the beans in the jars. You see these little... I'll open this to show you. See that oxygen sensor Ooh. right there? Oh. Or oxygen absorber? You put that pack in there, you cover it up, it takes out all the oxygen. This jar of beans will remain fresh for at least five years, if not more. So that's what I'm going to do with all these extras that I have. I'm going to put them in these mason jars and put that oxygen sealer on there <laughs> and seal it up and then I can get to them later. So anyways, little tip. Stay tuned. So there you go. It's been going about seven or eight hours. Look at that. Yummy. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to drain it, but we're not going to waste our liquid, okay? So put it into something you can catch it with. Oh, that's big, heavy. I'm just going to go here. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's good. So we're just going to let that drain for a minute. Okay, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna go back over here and put half of them in here. So half of them I'm gonna use a potato masher on, and half of them I'm gonna use a food processor on. Oh shites! What happened? Uh, nothing. Oh wow, I see it. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, it's on the cord. <laughs> it's okay. And then we're going to grind this guy up. Melissa took out the uh, onions and she's probably got a really good reason for it. And we may learn that the hard way, but I love mine in. Grind them up. Plug it in. Grind them up. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Plug it in. <laughs> really prepared here. Here we go. So look at that. That's ground up. And honestly, I think I'm going to add a little bit more in there because we like ours ground up pretty smooth. Look how fun to see the different before and after. So I'm going to add a little bit more. 
And then this stuff in here, like I said, we're going to potato mash. And I don't know where the potato masher is, do you? Well, I'll have to get it for you. Okay, be right back. And just kind of mash that down to however you, you know, however mashy you want it. And we saved that liquid, so if you need to wetten it up a little bit, that's what we saved that for, but I'm not going to do that yet. Okay, now I'm going to add my pureed beans. Oh, you're mixing them. I thought you were going to do two different textures. It will be two different textures all in one. Oh. Now we're just going to mix all those up. Look at that. So now what we're that? gonna do, we're gonna figure out what's a good serving size for us with our nachos, and then we're gonna put them in freezer side Ziplocs. And we're gonna have enough refried beans to last us for quite a while without having to buy the ones in the can. So there you go. Thanks for watching. 1881 MF and Little Debbie Doesn't Lock Buzzing Channel. We're making refried beans. We're gonna have nachos tomorrow night. Thanks, Melissa. Go check out her, her driveway. Don't check out her driveway. <laughs> no, check don't out, go there. <laughs> check out her <laughs> channel. I'll put the link down on the uh, description. So, thanks. Take care. Refried beans. Woo Give me some of that. The cantina. Oh, God. <laughs> Is it yummy? Mm. They are good.